Hey everybody, I'm live again. Today I'm going to do a little bit of uh, diamond painting. So, let's make sure it's actually going here. Okay, we are actually live. Good, good, good. Uh, today's stream is not going to be quite as long as last week's stream was where I, uh, it was about two and a half hours I think. Uh, but I am going to sit here. I have a diamond painting that I started working on a while ago. It is a Dreamer Designs, um, one of their free ones that you pay shipping for. So it was like 10, it was less than $10. Um, but I'm going to sit here and work on it. And you guys can come hang out and watch along and chat with me. And we'll have a good old time. So, let's see. I want this to be where I can see how many people are currently on here. All right, let's scoot this over. Just trying to get all this set up. There we go. Okay. Now, to the main part of this. I've got my case that I actually got in a Reddit swap right here with all my diamond painting stuff inside of it. I'll let you guys see it before I pull the uh, before I pull it off the diamond painting. But I have all of my drills in their little cases here. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use my light pad today uh, because it's currently I don't have anywhere to plug it up right here. So I'm not gonna worry about pulling that out. I didn't think about it before now. But let me get a tray. Pour some drills. Let me get some wax out. Let's see. We'll work with that color. And I have my pins and stuff right there. Okay. So we'll move that up here to the top out of the way. Move my water out of the way. There we go. All right. So I've already got, you can't see it now because I moved it out of the view of the camera. I've got this side right here done and it looks like I'm going to have to focus better. I'm trying a different setup today so things are a little bit, uh, just a little bit different. So let's see, there we go. Now you can see that in. So this is where I'm going to be working and pull that down. I'm going to start working right up here on this section and then just kind of come down with it because I've already got this part done down there. So I'm going to start with number 20 which is the DMC number is 809. It's just a, a light blue which is not going to focus right there. A light blue. These are the only ones that I couldn't fit everything into the containers in my case. So I have them in here. So I'll put some of these into my tray. Get the good and flat. Uh, I like diamond paintings too, where they have the not the plastic but the paper. And I know a lot of people will actually get. Let's see, is that the one I want to use? Yeah. They will actually go and buy parchment paper and use it on their diamond painting. I'll start with this wax and we'll see. We'll see if it's good. Uh, but they'll put parchment paper down and cut it so that they do it in sections. But this one is so small. This is a 32 by 28 centimeter. It's so small. I'm not worrying about cutting it. I'm just going to peel it back a little bit. Not a lot. Uh, we'll try to go. Yeah. We're just going to do a, a small section like this. So I'm just going to peel it back a little bit. And I'm going to shine a little bit of light down here. Since I'm not, since I'm not using my, my light pad, I'm just going to shine some light on it. So there we go. Let's get started on this. Uh, let me know how you guys are doing today. We had a very fun stream last week uh, when I was cross-stitching. And so far, not a lot of people on here today. So this one... 
hopefully more people are going to jump on here because uh, it's a lot more fun when when people are on here interacting i mean y'all know that streams are more fun when people interact so hopefully my hand won't yeah my hand shouldn't get too much in the way there all right so yeah this is my how many diamond paintings have i done this is my third diamond painting. This is my first Dreamer Designs diamond painting. And I, I've done two unboxing videos. I have another Dreamer Designs that I really want to get started on. But I have to wait until I finish this one first. So I'm going to try to get this one knocked out. And then get started on that other one. It's a lot bigger. So I'm going to have to... I'm probably not going to be able to work on it much in uh in my studio here just because it's so big i don't think it would fit on this table hey kim you watched a few h i'm guessing that you maybe hit enter before you finish that uh glad to have you here though oh come on let's see there we go back to work on this uh like i was saying this is my th third i didn't even have a drill on it that time this is my third diamond painting my first one is actually right here you can see part of it i did a, a final video review on it it was from victoria's moon uh, so you guys can go find that and watch it if you want to that i had seen diamond paintings before videos of unboxing oh well thank you kim um Hopefully those were enjoyable. Uh, yeah, so I uh, that's how I got into diamond painting was that Victoria's Moon diamond painting there. It it uh, hasn't been. Well, I mean, I haven't. I've only done two other ones other than this, so I don't know that I can say it wasn't my absolute favorite because it was a fun one it was a square uh, a lot of people say that the square diamond paintings are more difficult than the round this one is a round uh, I find I found that uh, the square weren't really that difficult to me but they're different they do take a little bit longer because you do have to spend a little bit more time lining up your drills but and the round ones like I'm doing now, you just plop them down there. Um, but I enjoyed the square ones. I I think I would enjoy both. Because they're all fun. And I really like the way they look. My wife has done, I think, three diamond paintings as well. And she has the privilege of being able to work on them during the day. So she can she can take it and just blow through them and the first one she did weren't really that big but she did one for her dad and i did a little frame for it and uh, it it was a really nice one i i wanted it myself yes it is tedious um and is it is a lot like crochet a lot like cross stitching i find that diamond painting is actually to me more similar to cross stitching um but it's it's relaxing just to sit here and plop down these drills and i know a lot of people will use the multi-placers for their drills too and that's that's just not my style i've i have found that if i sit here and put each one in i know it takes takes a bit longer but if i put them in one at a time I can get them lined up pretty good and so things in my I knew I was gonna have to replace this wax uh, so things don't get too out of line if I do them one one at a time so how are you guys doing today 
It's a, uh, it's, it was a rainy Saturday for us yesterday, rainy and cold and it's sun, the sun is out today. So it's kind of, uh, I kind of want to be outside doing stuff right now. Start of the round, regretted my first square. Oh, oh, I like, uh, I like diamond art club stuff as well. They have a few that, um, somebody in last week's. Uh, last week's live was telling me about uh, a couple of Doctor Who ones, and I love Doctor Who, so I'm going to have to probably get myself those uh, Diamond Art Club, especially the 10th Doctor one, because I love that. Um, yeah, this one is a 50 by 70 that I did, so it's roughly the same size. The, one that, the other one I have from uh, Dreamer Designs, it's a big one. I can't remember if it's round or not, but it's a, where's the size? 80 by 60. And so I, I just, I like the bigger ones. So I'm excited about doing that one. This one is just sort of a, a placeholder, you know, just to get me through. Although it's probably going to take me a few months to finish it too. <laughs> hey, Funky. Oh, it's good. Good to have you back again. Yeah, it, it was a pretty good week. I actually started back going into the office this week, so yeah, it was it was interesting. I've been working from home for the past two months, and this past week I, I started going back in. So yeah, it was a very very interesting but good week. Between, oh negative eleven. Oh, Kim, I don't I don't know how I couldn't no, I can't do that. I'm not a fan of uh, of cold weather. My wife loves snow, but I'm I'm just not that big of a fan. I like it down here in the south. Micro dots. I have not tried micro dots. Um, the only things I have had are like the round things of wax and then like this. This is actually the wax that I got with my uh, with that uh, Victoria's Moon one. And I've preferred using this over the wax that I got from Dreamer Designs. So, I mean, I've just been using it because I've got it and I just haven't felt like buying anything else. But the micro dots, I may, uh, I may have to try those. I do have this pen that I also got from Victoria's Moon Scent. Let me see, get my hands out of the way so y'all can see it. So it's got this end down here that has a really really tiny point and i could not get any wax to get in that point to actually do anything but this end is just solid wax and i have heard a lot of people say that these work better with the ab drills and this diamond painting that i'm doing now actually has some ab drills in it so when i get to those i'm gonna i'm gonna try this out because I was trying to do it with regular drills, but not only am I a single placer, but I like to actually push down on my uh, on my drills when I put them in. So I noticed that that pin when I was doing it just with regular drills, it was it was kind of uh, pushing the wax a little much, and I need to change this wax now. Where are just pull these out yes it is a big one I do I've discovered I do like the big ones my other diamond painting I did was is actually hanging on the wall back behind this bookshelf you can kind of barely I think see the corner but it's a it's a tiger and it is what size is it it's a 34 by 44 centimeter and so it's not, it's not a big one at all, but it's not teeny tiny. It's not like one of the small 20, 20 centimeter ones I've seen. Okay, that should be good. Let's get some excess out. I don't know if you guys do this, but I like to put my wax in there. And then I'll press down real hard on one of the drills to get extra wax out. This one is mostly used when you do... do oh, okay. I could see that using that, that wax one too. 
to do nail work. Um, but I think maybe that's why it works good with the AB drills because they don't, I think they tend to stick to the wax a little more or something, or they make the wax less sticky. It's something about that coating on them that'll do that. And so I, I think I've heard those work better. Uh, Dreamer Designs also has pins now because I got one in the the uh, diamond painting um, I have on on deck um, that doesn't have the metal tip the metal tip like this one it has a plastic tip and I've heard people say that those work better for AB drills so I'll try that one out too and I think I got some extra wax right there now I'm slightly regretting not plugging in my light pad but I'll make do. Yeah, 230 by 40 using diamond dots. Oh, wow. Yeah, I will have to, I will have to check out micro dots. I will definitely have to check that out. I will say when I'm not doing AB drills, I I've, don't really have to replace my wax that often. Um, especially using this what I will call cheap wax that I got from with the uh, Victoria's Moon diamond painting. That wax seems to it seems to have a long life inside of whatever pen I put it in, unless I'm doing A B drills. The thin. Okay. Yeah, I've thought about. I thought maybe that was what the thin end was for. Was for just straightening them. But, I mean, like I said, if when I put them down one at a time, now it, it's a lot more accurate when I do use my light pad. Because that thing, if you don't have a light pad, oh my goodness, that thing is awesome. I'm having to strain, even with the light in here. I, of course, my hand is getting in the way, too, of my light, because you see my shadow there. So, I... Uh, I don't know. Even with this light in here, I'm having to strain just a little bit to see. See, there's one. Okay. Yeah, I can. I tried using the old wax. See, I, I feel like I've tried using old wax too, and they just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about AB drills. But, and it may be that I use the fresh wax. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd kind of like to know what the AB drills do to the wax to cause it not to stick as well or to stick too much, maybe. Because I know my wife, one of them she was doing had AB drills and she was complaining about the wax not staying in the pen. And I had not had that problem on mine because the, the one I was doing, the Victoria's Moon one, did not have any AB drills. So I didn't have to worry about that problem. And then I started working on this one and I got to the point where like right down in here, right in here, there's some AB drills. And so I got to that point and I noticed my wax was trying not, yeah, my wax was trying to come out of my pen. It's like it was sticking to the drill too much and it, it would lose its stickiness with uh, with other drills so after I use it on an AB drill it doesn't work as well with the regular drills so I mean maybe that's maybe that's something is to use the older wax or I don't, I don't know well that's the thing about this one is the wax is already on it so the wax is not going to come off and I think part of my problem too is like I said I like to press a little harder when I put my drills down so I shouldn't press hard I should just put it down there gently move that hand out of the way oh I have a light pad I just didn't plug it in <laughs> I didn't think about getting it out because it's it's been a while since I've worked on this one but I didn't think about getting it out and plugging it in until after I started and 
yeah I don't feel like getting it out now I can I can make do I think this one is doing pretty good so far yeah I do love my light pad though I was doing most of my diamond painting in our dining room and so sitting there at the table I've got plenty of room I can slide that light pad right up under here it helps out greatly this is coming along nicely I am excited to get this one done it's it's the uh, the lighthouse pattern that Dreamer Designs has and they have a larger version of this one and of their other trial patterns that they have they I think they just released larger versions of them ah don't fall but I think I'm fine with this small one okay let's see so yeah again how are you guys told you a little bit about my week how have y'all's how has y'all's week gone we are uh, I work at a local university and we are going back to work pretty much full-time on uh, tomorrow so that's why I decided to go ahead and go back this past week and then I started having these sinus issues which thankfully seem to have cleared up now so I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm on the good side let's see yeah the AB drills definitely have some type of it's that iridescent coating I gotta take this watch off it's getting in my way it's that that sparkly iridescent coating on them or whatever you would call it it does something to the wax and I don't know what but it gets kind of irritating that one is not straight okay there we go yeah it just gets irritating to me I do like the way they look in certain situations on certain diamond paintings and I know a lot of people really like the sparkly shininess of them but for me it depends on the diamond painting because I don't think every diamond painting really needs that extra sparkle because I mean to be honest these drills already have a lot of sparkle to them just because of all the facets on them wow yeah the light pad is absolutely a game changer and y'all keep talking about it i'm gonna have to pull it out <laughs> you know what let's see do i have i say i don't know oh wait it runs off usb yeah okay i've got a also just dumped something in the floor there Maybe my USB hub will give me enough power. We're about to see. Wow, Kim. A whole year. I, yeah, we. There we go. We were working kind of part time from work and part time from home for a while and then let's see and then around Christmas we decided because with the, the nature of my job oh, it does it does it does look at there oh, all the way brightness okay I can't dim it through my oh it may not give me enough power Okay, my USB hub is not giving me enough power. Let me see if I have... Hmm. Anything else I can plug it in. Uh, okay. 
I don't know if this will reach my power strip, but I'm going to try. So anyway, we were doing some working from home, but not all the time. Okay, here we go. And so just before Christmas, because of the nature of my job, because I do uh, video, video production and photography. And because of that, uh, the computer I have, I couldn't just easily move it back and forth from home to work. And I, at that point, I did not have... Okay, come on. You're plugged in now. I did not have a computer... There we go. That I could use at home, and that is very bright. That is very bright. Okay, there we go. Adjust camera. Yeah, we can turn this light off now. There. There. So you can kind of see the difference the light pad makes now. I can clearly, very clearly, see all of these now. There we go. Anyway, so I decided those last two weeks before Christmas that I'd go ahead and just start working from home. And then they kept extending the at home working um, for like a couple weeks. And then they'd extended a couple more weeks and so on. And so I ended up just working from home for the past two months. And. So I didn't want to just the same day when everybody was supposed to go back, just be in shock, you know, from having to work from home so long. So I just decided this past week I'd go ahead and take all my stuff back to the office, get back in the swing of things so that when Monday came around, I'd be good to go. And I feel like I am, hopefully. Oh, for the billing department. Yeah. See, a lot of my work, I I have to actually be there to film or to uh, take the photographs. And so that's not really the problem with necessarily working from home. Because if I had my computer, or if I had a computer at home at that point that I could do editing and all that on, then I could go somewhere and, and get the footage I need and then put a video together at home. Uh, but I didn't have that option at that time, so I'd have to take my work computer home and I have a 27-inch iMac at work. And so that thing is not, it's not an easy, like just pick it up and carry it home. So it was either I'm working full-time at home or I'm working full-time at the office. And I did full-time at home. It was it was kind of nice while it lasted. There were things about it I did enjoy, but there are things that I really like about working from the office too, um, especially since I have my own office and I can just shut the door and do what I need to get done. <laughs> that makes things a lot nicer, and it's nicer with um, having to social distance and stuff too because I don't have to worry about being in the same office as someone else and, and either possibly spreading the virus not knowing it or having someone else working in my office having it. So the I feel like the safety factor of it, at least for the virus, is is a lot better in my situation. Now that being said, the building that our offices are in is like 90 years old now yeah it's like almost 90 years old so this building is is ancient and uh, I was kind of feeling like some of my sinus issues I was having were possibly something in the building that I, after being away for two months my body was like whoa 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 what are you doing in this so thankfully they have cleared up now but, uh, yeah, it wasn't very fun when it started. It wasn't anything as bad as what I've heard about the uh, people who have actually had COVID. It wasn't nearly as bad as that. Just 
little bit of congestion. It was all up here and top, like the bridge of my nose too. So you could, I could clearly tell it was just some type of sinus inflammation. Uh, yeah, cubicles are, I would not be, I, I would like the interaction sometimes. Sometimes I just, most of the time, I just like to, to do my stuff by myself. I would almost rather not <laughs> interact. <laughs> you know, it's, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Just depends on the people, really. If I, if I like, which thankfully I do like my coworkers now, um, which makes it a lot easier and a lot better to have good interactions with them, but in situations where you might not be comfortable around coworkers or something, you know, I'd, I'd rather just shut my door and do my own thing. And I hope that's showing up good for y'all. I think I said when I started today is not, I'm not going to go on for the same amount of time that I did last week because last week, I think I streamed for about two and a half hours. And today, unfortunately, we have to go to the grocery store. So, <laughs> yeah, I won't be won't be streaming quite as long today. But I'm going to try to at least, at a very minimum, I'm going to try to just randomly drop drills, like I just did. I uh, I love these tweezers, by the way. These little really thin pointed tweezers. Those were in the Dreamer Designs kit. And I love those things. My favorite tweezers. Most of these kits come with really good tweezers, though. I think the... Are these Dreamer Designs? No. Yeah, yeah, these are Dreamer Designs. I think even the... Uh, the... Uh, oh, my goodness. These do not want to pick this thing up. I think even the Victoria's Moon one had good tweezers in it. Stay. Come on. Pick it, pick it up. There. I was about to say my my uh, wax is already starting to lose its stickiness, but well, maybe it is. I don't know. Wax is weird sometimes. Ah, uh, football Sunday. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, we had thought about watching the game, but we are probably not. Um, just not a huge fan of... I'm, I, I like football. I like college football. Uh, but, oh my goodness. They keep falling. But I'm not a huge fan of NFL. I'd really rather watch baseball, to be honest. But thanks for thanks for hanging out for a little while, Kim. Okay. Let's see how many more on this little section. Okay. This is getting irritating. I'm about to break out a whole other pin. I wonder sometimes too if me how I like to press down on my drills if that causes the wax to become less sticky you know oh yeah I yeah I use those I use these for getting the wax out too just because they're so they're so thin like so pointy I stabbed myself like these things are sharp I stabbed myself with them one day and it does not feel good and no. hmm. left a hole in my finger <laughs> okay come on wax come on do your job I think I've got all my checkerboard oh I need to go over one more line right there one more so yeah i like doing this checkerboard pattern for big sections too 
because I really like going back and filling it in. It's like one of my favorite parts of diamond painting is, and I can't tell what symbol that is. Uh, we're going to say it's two lines. Uh, but when you go back and you fill in that checkerboard, that's one of my favorite, favorite things to do. Especially when they click together, they give you a really good click. I love that. Okay. Come on. I'm about to have to change the wax in this pen again. You know what I'm going to do? I got so many pens in here. Which ones have wax in it? That one's got wax in it. This, this may be one my wife was using too. Let's see, I've got another grip in here. Okay. Let's see if I can slide that on there and make it easier to hold. There we go. Let's see how this wax is. There, yeah. Awesome. Much more better. So, anybody else watching the game today? And if so, who are you pulling for? I will say, if I did have to pull for a team... I don't know. I, I always felt like I didn't like the Patriots because of Tom Brady. But now that Tom Brady is not at the Patriots... I find that I still don't like the Patriots and I kind of like Brady a little bit. So part of me kind of wants the, uh, the bucks to win. Don't really care enough to watch it, but part of me kind of wants them to win. And then part of me wants them to get blown out. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know who, I would actually cheer for in the game tonight, or yeah, tonight. Let's see if we can get through most of the rest of these in this bag and go ahead and. That's a lot of drills. Probably too many. That's all right. I can deal with it. Oh, in England. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lumen. I wouldn't care about it if I lived in England either. Uh, um, the college football team, American football, that I cheer for, uh, Auburn University, we actually have a, uh, a, a fan who does live in England who um, has a very unique story about how she came to be an Auburn fan. Uh, we had a player on the team uh, named D Ford and he was a great defensive player and in one of the one of the games when he was here somebody had tweeted I think it was the athletic director at the time tweeted about D Ford and used uh, the username at D Ford D E E F O R D and so it turns out that was not the football player's Twitter username. Uh, that was a lady in England's Twitter username. So her Twitter just got blown up. And so she, she looked into it and found out about D Ford. Ended up uh, coming to Auburn. Like I think they, they flew her out to Auburn and she got to meet D Ford. She got to meet the coach and go to some games and stuff and now she's a huge Auburn fan and I, that's pretty awesome and then back in I think it was the playoffs a couple of years ago when D Ford was playing for Kansas City playing for the Chiefs and on one of the plays he lined up off sides and people just got so mad and they started tweeting at D Ford not the football player uh, <laughs> at uh, at her and so once again, her Twitter got blown up and it's seems to be a common thing. And then, then people find out that 
you know, they find out who she is and they do news stories on it. And it's really kind of cool though. Really a cool story. Uh, okay. I'm going to try to get the rest of this filled in. Yeah, I put too many in here and now it's hard to see which ones are flipped the right way. But that's okay, I will make it work. Keep glancing up to make sure I've got this thing framed well enough. Hey, Lulies! <laughs> I'm glad you did make it. Uh... Yeah, t this this uh, stream I've been telling people is, is probably not going to be quite as long as our stream was last week. Uh, yeah, so, but it's going to be just as fun. So I've been working on this diamond painting. And it is a Dreamer Designs diamond painting. It's one of their free ones which is actually just pay for shipping uh, kind of like a trial one which is great for I think it's a great idea to do that for people who think they might want to di try diamond painting or it looks like something they might want to get into and then do one where you can get it for free or cheap and and it's really good with dreamer designs because they're they have a really nice canvases whereas you could go get one as cheap maybe even cheaper uh, from Amazon but the canvas probably won't be as nice and the design chances are you get a small one it's not going to be quite as nice either because like I was telling somebody else when you it's kind of the same thing with diamond painting and cross stitch if you have a smaller pattern because you're doing this with pixels basically and these pixels here are so much bigger than the pixels in an actual photograph that when you shrink it all down using this size pixels it's not going to look as good being shrunk and so you have to if you're doing a small one you have to do a small one that's actually been designed to look good as a small diamond painting or a small cross stitch so if you get one off amazon or uh AliExpress. I've heard people getting them off there. I've actually never bought anything off of AliExpress. Um, but I know a lot of people buy diamond paintings off of there. You could end up with one that's just fine. You could end up with one that is just crap. And I think I got a piece of wax right there. Got a piece of something in there. Oh, with Legos. I love Legos, too. I actually have a a Lego Pose X-Wing over here on the little bookshelf. I need to get it as part of my backdrop because it's really awesome. Um, yeah, I know. I think Dreamer Designs only does U.S. and Canada right now. Hopefully, they will start shipping internationally because they have really nice, really nice uh, canvases. Uh, I will say the probably my favorite canvas though is not a Dreamer Designs. It was a uh, Diamond Art Club. That was the one that my wife did for my father-in-law, for her dad, and that canvas was just like like velvet or something. It was so smooth. It was awesome. These are nice. The front of these, like the front of this canvas, and I touch somewhere where you can actually see it. This is really smooth. Uh, the glue doesn't go past where the drills are so i don't have to worry about like the this one over here the glue is like a good quarter inch to a half inch out from the edge of the design and this just the this the style of gluing because you can get this is like a double-sided adhesive that they just lay down on top of the pattern and the glue on these is a poured glue so they can get it i guess more accurate 
But that one, since we have two dogs, just has like dog hair and stuff all around it. It's, I'm going to have to cut that off before I frame it. Uh, but this one, because the glue doesn't go so far past the edge, I'm probably not going to have to worry as much about things getting stuck to that. And as I say it, I find something stuck to it right there. Actually, that may just be a piece of glue sticking up. Anyway, um, so I do like these, but I do like um, Diamond Art Club, too. And these, um, Lulies, this is uh, this one I got from Dreamer Designs. I think it's just DreamerDesigns.com. But uh, check out Diamond Art Club. Um, check out Mel Melan, Melan on AliExpress. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I'll have to check them out too. Yeah, see that's the pro that's the thing about getting them on somewhere like AliExpress or Amazon is you just have to know a good seller. You have to find who the good sellers are. So I'm glad that you you suggested them. Thank you, Lumen. So yeah, uh this one though since it's Dreamer Designs, it would be just U.S. and Canada, I think. I th they, they may ship somewhere else, but I I'm pretty sure I know they ship to U.S. and Canada. But I don't think they ship overseas. I know that uh, Victoria's Moon, who I got that one from, they do ship uh, globally, I believe, but... I would say to try one of the better companies first because there were some there were some issues with the the drills for that diamond painting they were not not high quality at all and the uh, yeah the canvas is okay but it's uh, it's not what I would consider a, a very high quality one it's just okay but I was saying earlier, Diamond Art Club, and this, I'm just going to go through all my pens that still have wax in them before I replace the wax. Does that one have wax? I think it does. Um, what was I saying? Oh, okay, they don't ship their free ones international. Okay. Now, they do have, I will say, Dreamer Designs does have a, like, a loyalty reward program now where you spend so much money and you get points and this wax is already uh, but you get you earn up your points and then you can use them to get discounts off other ones off other uh, diamond paintings and where was I going with that well they've got a, they've got a, a loyalty rewards thing I'm not sure and I just had a drill just shoot across my desk somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it went. I don't know. Let's pull the wax out of this and put some more in it. Come on. There you go. Big blob of that stuff. Where did my other wax go? Just had it. Maybe that's what back there. I don't know. I've got plenty in here. Let's get one of these. Okay. Well, thank you, Lulies. Thunder. <laughs> Thunder. Makes me think of... Uh, makes me think of uh, cars with... Uh, when lightning calls Chick Hicks thunder because it comes after lightning is that actually going to stay in there okay this could be a problem with with that because this wax doesn't even want to stay in that pen uh, to answer your question Lulies I haven't seen any Among Us diamond paintings um, I haven't really looked for any Oh, this wax. Oh, I know why this wax is not coming out. It's because the cover is still on it. Uh, put these little 
little plastic covers on top of it. So you got to pull that off. Now I can get it to stay in there. There we go. Much better. Uh, but but with that, there are a lot of things like this. Milan is. is I can't tell on my screen if that's an I or an L. So I'm going to say Milan on AliExpress that they'll do custom diamond paintings. And so just like with cross stitches, you could have your own pattern made. And so that would be something you could get like a scene from Among Us or something from Among Us and kind of have it designed and or get them to design it for you or something. So just because there aren't any out there doesn't mean that there can't be some because even with cross stitching like you can make your own patterns or you can find people who will make patterns for you uh, there so yeah i've got some some uh custom diamond painting patterns that i think would be awesome <laughs> or some ideas for some and that's one thing about Victoria's Moon too that I actually I did mention in my review of that diamond painting is that they will do they have a, a section on their website to do custom diamond paintings but based on the quality of the one that I did I'm not entirely sure how how much faith I would put in them to to get it the way you want it because one of the things that they that i felt that that diamond painting really lacked was the right number of colors because i feel like it could be a little more detailed than it is if it had a few more colors and i think it had for, for that size it's a 50 by 70 it had 34 colors the one that i have from dreamer designs is a 60 by 80 so it's just a little bit bigger and it's got 50 something colors i think so 34 compared to like 50 something colors the dreamer designs is going to be more detailed because it has more color so that's it's one reason i'm not sure i would put too much faith in in them now i might would try the uh the person on aliexpress since they do have <laughs> at least one glowing review now i would at least look them up and see check their reviews uh, I, I do know somebody a few years ago it was one of my first exposures to diamond paintings um, somebody that i knew from youtube she got a pokemon diamond painting and i think it was one that had been done custom it was either custom or it was one that that she found like on aliexpress or something uh, but she did a video on that and then i never saw an update so they are fun though okay work 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 i don't i don't have as much to talk about this week Oh. other than the fact that my wax loses its stickiness way too fast I do have the, well, there was something that was just on my brain that I was going to say and it vanished as quickly as it came uh I have still been trying to think of oh, I did start setting up a discord server a little bit uh, with different areas to talk about different crafts or different hobbies um, so hopefully maybe by the end of the week I'll have that ready I was planning on having my my uh, cross stitch I was working on last week done by the end of this week and that didn't happen it's an uh okay I Okay, M-E-I-A-N. Gotcha. I 
big waterfall, 80 by, wow. That is big. That, that is a good price for one that size too. Okay, I like that. That's, see, that's one of the things I like about Dreamer Designs on their website is you can see mock-ups like that. You can you see a picture of the of the design or of the the image that it's supposed to look like in your diamond painting, and then you have another one that is what the diamond painting itself looks like. And websites like Victoria's Moon they just show you what the image looks like, not the diamond painting. So you you could get a small version of one of these thinking, oh, it's going to look great, and it's not. You get a big version of it and it looks okay. So I like that, that they give you mock-ups. I'm definitely going to have to check them out. Because I could come up, I could, I could think of a few I would really like to, to have a custom of. And that's, I, I don't know if I would say this is harder than puzzles. Because... Like maybe if you compare doing a large diamond painting to like a 2000 plus piece puzzle, then I would say the puzzle is probably harder because you're not sitting here searching for pieces on a diamond painting. It's very similar to cross stitch where you just take your color, either cross stitch or paint by numbers kind of. You you have your, your pattern on the screen here. And here, let me turn this off. You can see it a little bit better maybe turn this light back on okay you can kind of see as long as that's not glaring how you have your pattern with all your different symbols down here and you have a legend which you can't you can kind of see a little bit of it here but you match up your symbol to your color and then you just put the color where the symbols are so it's it's like a cross between cross stitch and paint by numbers so I would say it's probably not as as difficult as putting together like a 2,000 piece puzzle. Because uh, I did put together a really large 2,000 piece puzzle and that took months to finish that thing. Um, but it is a little tedious. So I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it can be tedious. Now if you enjoy just... I enjoy it because... It's just a repetitive task. You don't have to think about it. You can just sit here and do it and relax. And in the end, you have an awesome picture that you can frame and hang on your wall. I mean, I, I, I like that. Oh, oh, I hate that when you lose a piece. Especially when you get to the end of the puzzle and realize that you lost it. And I was afraid of that with the one I did. It was a big Star Wars puzzle that I got for Father's Day a couple years ago. And uh, I've got a little table set up at work where we all were kind of working on it together. Sort of doing a team building type thing. And I ended up doing most of it. But I was, I was afraid because I just left it on that table. And so I was afraid that I was going to get to the end of it. And there's going to be one piece missing. Like that was my big fear with that. Thankfully that did not happen. I got it all together. All the pieces were there. And then yeah, I, I glued mine together. Uh, you had glued it together and lost a piece. Oh, that's even worse. Uh, yeah, I got some Mod Podge and I put, I think, seven coats of Mod Podge on the front and the back of that thing. So it's not coming apart. And I've got it hanging up in the wall of my office now. And then I did a smaller uh, Legend of Zelda one. It was a 300 piece. And I think I had it done in about a week. <laughs> it's like 300 piece compared to a 2000 piece. It's a massive difference. Especially when all the pieces are like the same. When they all look very similar ooh glow in the dark glue oh that sounds kind of cool actually 
<laughs> Come on. I just put wax in this pen. It should not be. I got to check out those micro dots. Because this is. This gets ridiculous. I, uh, that's one thing I will say about, and maybe it was the quality of the drills with the Victoria's Moon, but I I would go days without having to replace my wax. And this wax is just not not living up to it. And I don't know what I did with that other wax I had right here. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things I was talking about, Lulies, is you can get, like, I could come up with my own pattern and, or my own image. Like, say I was really good at painting, which I'm not. I'm, that's one thing, uh, out of all the hobbies I have, that is one thing I'm not, I don't feel like I'm that great at. And I'm not really incredibly interested in, is like drawing and painting. But, Let's say I have a painting that I did, or if I have a uh, <laughs> PewDiePie intro. Um, if I have a, uh, like, since I do photography, if I take this really awesome landscape photo, I could take that photo to one of these websites that do custom diamond paintings or to, uh, uh, like, this person on AliExpress and get them to create a custom pattern for me based based off of that image so yeah you can definitely make your own all right come on you can make me change my wax again i am almost done with this color uh, let's change it again yeah i'm not used to having to even the one I got from Amazon, I didn't have to change my wax this often. And this wax does not want to come out of this pen. Come on. Okay, we're going to say I got it all. Even if I didn't. Something fell out. That was probably the rest of it. All right, let's get. Okay, get some wax. Let me finish up this color. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd. I. Uh, I wish I could draw. I'm, well, I say that, but. I can draw, I just can't draw the way I would like to. Because it's like I say with just about every hobby, is I think anybody can do pretty much what they want. They just may not be able to do it as well as they want. I can draw stick men all day, but I don't want to draw stick men. Like I want to draw realistic things and I'm not good at drawing realistic things now I know if I sat down and I practiced and I did it a lot I could get better at it but I just it's one thing I just don't want to put the time into I'm not that interested in being good at it that I want to sit down and practice it all the time ah uh, on the eyes and hands yeah See, I don't even think I, I would get that far <laughs> I think I tried drawing cubes and circles. All right, I am almost done with this color. And then unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to call it a day after that. Did I just put that on upside down? I don't think so. All right, winding it down. Come on. 
I know you're not already starting to get unsticky because I just put you in here. Alright, I think that's the end of where I'm going. I got two more down here I'm going to do. Right there. And right there. Alright. Let me put these back in this bag. to show that comment <laughs> oh yeah flowers see I think it would be really cool to be able to draw like realistic realistic looking flowers or, or anything realistic looking anything turn on the back side what do you mean by are they turned on the back side Oh, that was the problem with that wax. It stuck to the top. Eh, whatever. Okay. Let me switch back to this scene here. And I will pick this thing up. Let me turn my light pad off. So, just for, just to give you an idea of how tedious diamond painting can be, that was over an hour of working on this project and I'll show you what I have accomplished after I get that on the floor what is moving around okay whoa things are jumping at me so in that hour get back over here I did I got my hand right here this little section right here just that blue right there that's all i got done and that's the whole image there we go that's the whole image and so i just did this section in about an hour so that's quite a few more hours i have left to work on this that's all i'm gonna oh yeah i've heard about people love uh, uh, for the gooder that that pen I've heard other people say that exact same thing that they wish that there was a pen that you could just load up with the diamonds and they would just choo -choo -choo -choo, just pop, pop out like that and to be honest when I got this pen which I showed earlier this one right here that's got like sparkly looking diamonds inside of it I thought that might be what it would do but it's not so <laughs> It's just for design. But that would be awesome to have a pen like that. Oh, the uh, the the diamonds, Lulies, they're they're called drills actually. And they're just little pieces of resin. Let me see if I can get a closer view on here. I don't know if that will focus. Uh, but they have a flat side on the bottom and the top if the round ones are kind of dome shaped on the top so you have to get them when you pick them up where you pick them up on the dome shape and put the flat side down on the canvas so it's and you just stick them down it's a uh, sticky glue on the canvas you just plop them on there and they stay um, oh embroidery well technically cross stitch is a type of embroidery um, it's just not full embroidery. I did it. I did try some embroidery one time. Uh, I just found basically like tried to do my own pattern and it didn't seem too difficult, but I like, like I do with most projects, I never finished it. Um, and yeah, the, these, these, uh, drills that you use for a diamond painting are I think somewhat similar to what what people would use in in nail art but not quite maybe I don't know I'm not really into nail art <laughs> so
so yeah that's uh that's my progress for today like i said this can be a, a bit tedious but uh here let's do this let's switch back to there and bring this view oh i didn't want you to do that let's bring this out some there we go so now you can see the whole thing a little better see that's that's the progress i made today right there just that little bit cross stitch website oh oh yeah sprite stitch s-p-r-i-t-e-s-t-i-t-c-h.com uh i still don't remember what the forum is but it should be linked somewhere on that website uh there there are a lot of different types of crafts on sprite stitch it's like a blog um i say it's like a blog it is a blog um so yeah sprite stitch mobile games i like right now the only mobile game i actually play is pokemon go and i don't really play it that often um i've actually been playing kind of switching back and forth between the new hyrule warriors age of calamity game and uh horizon zero dawn I finally got that one back a few weeks ago and I have um, the Middle Earth Shadows of it's not is it Shadows of Mordor it's the second game in that series I got it uh, a week or so ago too I haven't played it yet um, but yeah the only mobile game I really play is Pokemon Go and I do it maybe a little bit every day just to just to do stuff i don't i don't play a whole lot on my phone oh excuse me unless you count youtube a game i'm always on youtube <laughs> watching stuff so yeah so thank you guys for joining thank you guys for hanging out again this week um i'm going to to uh call it a day now because we got to get ready and go to the grocery store and get some groceries for the week you know adult things <laughs> so thank you guys for hanging out again um planning on doing it again next week same time around 2 p.m central i'm not sure what i'll be doing next week but uh if anybody has any suggestions then shoot them my way i'm on i did i did start using instagram more so I do have my Instagram up uh, if you guys want to go check it out. Uh, all that stuff is down in the description. Um, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And uh, I know, Lulies, I know. I'm trying. Un unfortunately, I'm not able to do a two and a half hour one today, but I don't know. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. We'll see. But I am enjoying this new microphone. So, yeah. Thank you guys for coming to hang out. Um, yeah, check out all my other stuff. Keep in touch during the week. And uh, I'll talk.